this is a tutorial for Kelly. She wants to take this um, skull with a helmet on and fill the white parts with the American flag. So um, I've already traced this flag and it's the same flag I used in a previous video the uh, where I was filling text with the flag image um, and I traced it exactly the same way so if you need to know how to do that uh, go watch that video. And then this skull image was pulled off of Google and I just did a bitmap trace um, using brightness cutoff and threshold 0.45 and that worked just fine to get that guy traced. He was pretty easy, a black and white image. Okay, so now what we, we're going to do is we're going to use path intersect to cut out parts of the flag. But just real quick, I'll show you we're going to have to add another step before that if we want to fill the white areas. So <coughs> if I have this uh, just as it is on the flag, and I'm going to use path intersect to cut the blue and the red parts. So I have to have two copies of this, but the skull selected, I'm going to press Control D to make a duplicate. Control Z to put it back. That was just to show you there's two. With the skull selected, I'll also select the blue and do path intersection. If I pull it, you can see it worked. And then with this one selected, I will also do path intersection on the red. Okay? But you can see that that filled in the areas that are black, and that's not what we want. We want to fill in the areas that are white. So we have to add another step, and that's actually pretty easy. We're going to make a negative of the skull. Uh, I'm going to take that guy, whoops, and just pull him over here because I'm going to use him later. Okay, so now with this guy selected, I'm going to say Control D to duplicate. So now there's two. Control Z, I'll put him back. I'm going to break apart path, break apart. Uh, that breaks it down, my copy down into all of its individual shapes. And I'm going to say path union to put it back together. I'm going to change the color red so we can see what's going on. You can see it's just a solid red shape of the outline of the skull. I'm going to press end to send it to the back. You can also do that with object lower to bottom. Okay. So now you can see we've got our original on top and a solid outline on the bottom. I'm going to click and drag to select both of those and do path difference. So you can see if I pull this guy over that gives us an exact negative image of the skull. So now we can use this negative image to do our, our, our um, intersect. I'm just going to go ahead and change it back to black and drag it over on top of the flag. I'm going to press 3 to zoom in and then the minus key to zoom out a little bit. And then I'm going to, with the skull selected, I'm going to press the home button, which is the same as object raise to top. Okay, so now we can do the same intersect to, um, to slice out the parts of the flag we want. So we have to do it twice, once for the blue, once for the red, so we need a copy. Control D to duplicate. There's the duplicate. Control Z to put it back. So now with one duplicate selected, I'm going to also select the blue and do path intersection. I'll drag that so you can see that it worked. Control Z to put it back. Now with that one selected, I'm also going to select the flag, the stripes, and do path intersection again. And there he is. So we're almost there. <coughs> Control 3 to zoom in. I will use the arrow keys to line this up. If I hold down the Alt key and press the arrow, it moves it just in smaller increments so I can line it up more accurately. Okay, so now that you might think that we're done, but actually these white areas aren't filled in. If I draw a black background, press the end to send that to the bottom. You can see that the white areas aren't filled. They're empty. So we need to fill those areas. I'm going to press 3, no, select this and press, th press 3 to zoom in. So what I want to do is use the paint bucket to fill in these areas, but if I click the paint bucket now and click here, oh, that actually worked. 
um, let me change that to white or a, a light gray color so I can see what I'm doing. And I'll click each of these areas. Um, I've got my paint bucket set to threshold 50. I'm growing it by 0.05 inches, which is 5 pixels. Seems to be working okay. You might want to play with those settings to get it to fill the way you want it to. But just go through and fill. It's too, it's too big actually. I'm undoing all that. I'm going to change that grow shrink to one pixel. That's better. It was overlapping too much. Some of these are too small. I'm not going to bother filling them. You can do however you think it's best. And this is why you might want to spend more time playing with where, oops, control Z, where the flag falls. So, just go through and fill. Control Z. I'm trying to go too fast. Kind of sloppy. Okay, just so for the sake of time, you can spend more time with that, but I'm just going to say that that's done. Okay, so with the selector tool to get out of the paint bucket, now I'm going to click on one of the gray stripes that I added, and then I'm going to right click and then go down to select same fill color, and then I'm going to union all of these together so they're all stuck together. Path, union. Okay, so now all of our white stripes are stuck together. And I can change them back to white now. So now you can see if I grab this skull and put him over on the black, the white areas are filled in now. So let's look at what we have. I'll delete the black square. Okay, so we have the outline in black. We have the stripes in white. We have the stripes in red. And we have these the stars in the blue. So we have all of the parts we would need if we wanted to make a decal or a t-shirt transfer. Um, I know I went fast on that, but hopefully that will give you the, um, the techniques you need to fill that skull in with the American flag. So I hope that helped. Thanks for watching.